Assalamu alaikum doctors in this video I am discussing a recall communications that is about neonatal abstinence syndrome uh, the task is actually like a mother is pregnant she is on methadone program so we need to talk about that how can we take care of the child so in this communication actually I am going to tell about neonatal abstinence syndrome the features of uh, these are uh, the baby born with like tremors excessive crying stiff arms and legs fever Irritability, seizures, sleep problems, and vomiting. Now, neonatal abstinence syndrome. First definition, what is that? Medication, tobacco, and alcohol taken in the pregnancy will pass through placenta and will be absorbed by your baby. If during the pregnancy, the mother used any prescribed medication or illicit drugs that can cause physical tendency, uh, then the baby may become dependent on this medication too. Following delivery, when the umbilical cord um, has been cut down, the supply to, of the drug to the baby suddenly stops and the baby uh, may show signs of physical withdrawal. So what happens when pregnancy, if mother is taking, uh, taking uh, medication, illegal medications, tobacco, alcohol, anything, it is via placenta go the babies. And baby started to depend on these medications or drugs, everything. When baby born, we cut the umbilical cord. What happened? They have the connection cut between the mother. So the baby has not find these medications, these um, illegal drugs. Uh, that time, baby show the withdrawal effect of these drugs. So what are the features they show? First of all, variable in severity from mild to severe. A continuous high pitch cry. Okay, continuous high pitch cry, fast breathing, tachypnea, irritability and restlessness, and scratching of their faces. Irritability, restlessness, and scratching of their faces. Shaking, this is tremor of the arms and legs, whether disturbed or resting. Increase the muscle tone where the limbs feel very stiff. Feeding difficulties, uh, coordination of the sucking and swallowing, frantic sucking. Excessive wakefulness, not setting or sleeping after a feed. Sickness, vomiting, diarrhea with so brought up. Fever, sweating, excessive uh, sneezing, weighing, hiccups, l then less commonly feeds, convulsions. So we understand the child has a tremor, excessive crying, irritability, um, tremor, excessive crying, irritability, then tachypnea, respiratory distress, um, feeding problem, they have uh, um, sweating, sneezing, excessive hiccup, excessive vomiting, diarrhea, loose motion, back sores, uh, these are, uh, but uh, very less commonly convulsion also occur. So these are the features the baby show after birth. Now how can we manage this issue? There, um, uh, we divided management antenatally during labor and postnatally. Antenatally, check maternal hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV status and decide on management plan for baby. So, antenatally, we are checking mother hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV status and decide on the management plan. During labor, what we do? Revise the notes regarding the drug dosage and route of administration and last dose taken involve neonatal team. So, during labor, what we do? Uh, we will check the revise the note that what drug taken, drug doses, route of administrations, and last when taken the drug, and we involve the neonatal team. Then postnatally, what we do? Do not give naloxone. Can be exacerbate withdrawal symptoms, so we don't give naloxone. Encouragement of skin to skin contact and initiation of early breastfeeding. Admit to the NNU only if there are clinical indications. Keep babies who are not with drawing. Feeding will have and no child protection issues with their mother in postnatal ward. If symptomatic start medications according to the drug causing the conditions. Okay. So postnatally what happened? First of all, we do not offer naloxone because it exacerbates the uh, withdrawal situations. Um, then uh, first what we do? Encouragement of skin to skin contact and initiation of the early breastfeeding. So uh, encourage the skin to skin contact and initiation of the early breastfeeding. Admit to NNU only if there are clinical indications. Keep babies who are not withdrawing, feeding well, and have no child protection issues with their mother in postnatal ward. If symptomatic, start medications according to the drug causing the condition. Subsequent management. First of all, maintain normal temperature, reduce hyperactivity, reduce excessive crying, reduce motor instability, ensure adequate weight gain and sleep pattern, identify the significant withdrawal requiring um, pharmacological treatment, review the daily start pharmacological treatment after other cause excluded if there is recurrent vomiting, profuse watery diarrhea, poor feeding require tube feeds, 
inconsolability after two uh, consecutive fits and seizures so uh, subsequent some management are first of all what we do maintain we maintain the normal temperature we reduce the hyperactivity reduce excessive crying reduce the motor instability ensure the adequate weight gain and sleep pattern identify the significant withdrawal requiring pharmacological treatment so we will identify that uh, significant withdrawal symptoms is showing so need pharmacological treatment or not review the daily start pharmacological treatment um, after other causes excluded if there is recurrent vomiting profuse diarrhea uh, poor feeding requiring tube feed inconsolability after two consecutive feeds and seizures so this features then we will start the treatment drugs we give at um, an opiate or opioid morphine uh, de diabetes is the most effective way to relieve the symptoms when there has been multiple drugs uses for uh, then phenobarbital may be uh, more effective uh, than chlorpromazin uh, for babies of mothers who have benzodiazepine bendo so what is the drug treatment we give in neonatal abstinence syndrome an opiate or opioid morphine so an opiate or opioid morphine derivatives is the most effective way to relieve these symptoms opiate or opioid morphine and when there has been multiple drug uses then we give the phenobarbital may be more effective uh, because chlorpromazine from babies of mother who have benzodiazepine normally we give opioid or morphine and if a mother has multiple drugs then benzodiazepine we are giving advice mom after discharge some discharge uh, advice we give after discharge first of all provide a quiet environment okay provide a quiet environment turning down the loud music tv or voices skin to skin contact as will help calm your baby decrease crying and help with feeding dress your baby with cool clothing and change frequently if there are sweating feed the baby regularly frequent small feeds and make diary with feeding everyone must avoid smoking cigarettes or illicit drugs around him do not share a bed uh, with your baby and follow the safer sleep so discharge time what advice we give first of all provide a quiet environment you can give a, a turning it down music uh, loud music or uh, any loud music will be down music tv and various not uh, high music we are not giving skin to skin contact we give as well as help calm your baby decrease the crying and help with feeding dress your baby with cool clothing and change frequently if there is sweating okay feed the baby regularly frequent small feeds and making diary with feeding everyone must avoid smoking cigarettes or illicit drugs around him do not share a bed with your baby and follow the safer sleep special message we give neonatal abstinence syndrome never given your baby any drugs or medications that has not been specifically prescribed from by the gp if the okay so we special message give very important that never give a medication or drug that is not prescribed by any doctor or gp okay then if their baby appears pale blue or gray in color has bre uh, breathing difficulties or appears to be fainting so if the, if the baby become pale baby, uh, if baby appear pale baby uh, blue or gray in color has breathing difficulty or appear to be fainting has a, a fit or convulsions or is floppy stop breathing then dial 999 immediately and ask for medical help so if the child become blue that is sign of blue or gray stop breathing um, uh, abnormal movement starting uh, become floppy lethargic then uh, call 999 and seek the uh, medical help so this is all about neonatal abstinence syndrome communication thank you